Good morning. Welcome to Light Embassy taking this glory to the ends of the world. This morning's message is captioned Ignorance will cost you. Ignorance will cost you. And our team scripture is taken from Second Timothy chapter four, verse three to four. Please I'm reading from the KJV. The Apostle Paul says to Timothy. But the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lives shall they heave to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables again. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, correct doctrine, sound truth, they will not. But after their own last, what caused them to err from the truth? Because a message came that was so pleasurous. A message came that their flesh could receive. A message came that sounded so good to the ears. So because of that, they couldn't endure some doctrine. But when it comes to sound doctrine, it takes the spirit for you to agree with it. It takes for you being sincere and genuine with the word of God to accept that servant who carries that message. But there are certain messages that comes and they are satisfy the appetites of the senses. Such messages are very easy for people to follow. So Paul the Apostle wrote to the pastor Timothy, the pastor at Ephesus, and said, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own last, shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. As a Christian, you have to understand that ignorance will cost you. It should not even be can cost you. Ignorance will cost you. Many times, the cause for people being overwhelmed and overcome by situations has been their ignorance. God says when you read Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So God here reveals a certain character about him to us. To God, when you reject knowledge, he rejects you. To God, it's not about, oh, I'm a good Christian, I go to church. No, 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 no. When the truth comes, when the truth comes from his word, when someone comes, a servant comes and preaches his word, do you reject that message? He rejects you. See? He says, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. God here is not talking about his enemies, but his own people. They were destroyed for their lack of knowledge. Ignorance is not really a lack of knowledge, but a rejection of it. God will always send his anointed servants to his people. Because if he doesn't do that, then he, he cannot what, then blame you. But then how you, will you really know his mind? Right? So God will always send his anointed. Yes, he has given you the Holy Ghost, but he needs to send people to bring you into understanding, to bring you into knowledge, to bring you into mysteries. So God will always send his anointed servants to his people so as to bring the right knowledge to them. Now good for you as a Christian if you receive them, if you receive such servants and the messages, good for you. You do your own yourself good, you do your own self good by receiving them it's for your good. You are not going to be in safety just because you are God's people. You need truth. In these last days, there are all kinds of messages going around the world. 
but be careful not to be led wrongly. The Holy Spirit Jesus and the early apostles prophesied of these times. You have to understand that no matter the prophet or minister in question, his message, his understanding of scriptures will color his prophecies. This is very important to note. Any minister's understanding of scriptures will color his prophecies. And that is why you have to be very careful as a Christian. Because if that person doesn't have a right understanding of certain portions of scriptures, he can bring forth wrong doctrine, so wrong prophecies to you. Therefore, a preacher will be as right with his prophecies as he is with the interpretation of scriptures. Jesus replied to the Jews, he says, Are you not in error? Actually, these were the Sadducees, the Sadducees Jews. He says, Are you not in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God? Are you not in error? You will be in error if you don't understand the scriptures. Failure to understand the scriptures will always put you in error. Things may make sense to you even though you are wrong. It's not about sense, it's about truth. And truth is what God has said and not necessarily what makes sense. Why did major prophets and world acclaimed men of God prophesy that Trump was going to win the U.S. elections. They said that it was a done deal. They presented it as a confirmed prophecy. Why? And these people were not pretending. No, they were serious. They really thought that that was what was going to happen. They really believed so. It was these were not people who are fake people trying to uh, say what is wrong to people. No, no, no. These were people who were genuine men of God. They believed that they were right. They believed that they had heard from God. And they believed that Trump, no matter what, was going to win the U.S. elections. But why did they get it wrong? This is because most of these Western preachers are pre-tribbles. That is, they believe that they are going to be raptured before the tribulation. These are great proponents of the pre-tribulation rapture teaching. And to them, they are not, the church is not supposed to go through troubles, pressures, and tribulation, and great tribulations. The church is not supposed to go through that. And they know that a change of government means that such things will be coming. You see, they may know that. They know that. And since to them, they have to be out of here before all these things start panning out. That is why they will get such prophecy for God's children. And now even when the prophecy didn't come to pass, you find some of them coming back with all kinds of uh, explanations and reasons. You see, you will never learn. You will never learn. You go back to the scriptures and humble ourselves and find out where did we get it wrong. You see, that's what is most important. The scriptures. Why is some even referring to the COVID-19 pandemic as a fraud? It's for the same reason. Now, this doesn't mean that evil people may not have a hand or anything to do with the pandemic. It does not suggest so. But to think it a fraud, a total fraud, is for you to be in error because people are dying. And they are dying, they are dying in numbers. When you think that we are not supposed to be on earth during the Great Tribulation, you will find answers and reasons for everything. But is that what the scriptures teach? 
Is that what the word of God teaches? That's the question to find ourselves. And by the word of God, means the total complement, the total revelation of God's word. Does it agree with that pre tribulation message, rapture message? Not just go and pick some verses here and there out of context to teach what God didn't say. Look at the total volume of God's word. Does it agree with that doctrine? That's what you ask yourself. Jesus said, then you read my teacher chapter 24, verse 7 to 8. When they had asked him the Oliver discourse, and they have asked him of the signs of the end of the age and his coming, the master said, For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilences, pandemics, that's what it means. And earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of souls. The master said that when you see all these things, this is not really the, the, the big deal, the real deal. These are just the, the, the best time, the beginning of souls. That tells you that the greater one is ahead. The greater one is ahead. This is just the beginning. So if you're a Christian, you're living in these times, you better prepare for what is coming. And living in this world as safe, you own the world. No, you have to know what is coming and prepare. And prepare. And that is why God says that knowledge is very important. Truth is very important. Don't be deceived. Understand the times which you live, in which you live. Things are never going to be the same in this world post COVID. But for the church, a great revival is coming. A great move and sweep of the spirit is on its way. Beloved, understand the times. God doesn't like it when people cannot discern the times, the signs of the times. And Jesus showed that. The Bible says when you read in First Chronicles, chapter 12, verse 32. The chronicles of the kings of Israel says, and of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. If the church understands the times in which they live in, they will know what they ought to do. You see, like the sons of Issachar, they too will know what to do. But if you don't understand the times, you will not know what you ought to do. What is, what is God trying to tell you? The Spirit trying to tell you here. There is something that the church ought to do. There is something that the Christian you ought to do in every dispensation of time. God's people are supposed to do something based on God's calendar, based on God's plan for that moment. So when you understand the time, in which you live, the season which you live in, then you will know what you are supposed to do ought to do when you don't understand the times you will not know what you ought to do as a christian and calamity will come and sweep over you and your family and then you'll be blaming god and then they will come giving you all kinds of reasons that oh it's the will of god it was the will of god and then you will be losing out people will be destroying your loved ones the casualties and they'll tell you it's the will of god no says my son get wisdom all that I get and get understanding. Like these sons of Israel, they were men of wisdom. They understood the times, and therefore, the Bible says, they knew what Israel ought to do. They knew what Israel ought to do. God bless you.